today's video is going to be a New Year's resolution video and just general kind of chat about the new year and what I have planned for 2015. I try and make my New Year's resolutions not too stressful for want of a better way of putting it. I, if I don't like complete them then great. I only really aim to complete and actually do about half of them because you can't do everything and sometimes situations happen and it means that you just you couldn't stick to them and that's totally okay. So these are just rough ideas of how I want to sort myself out for 2015 and how I want to progress and at the end of next year I'm hoping I've managed to do the majority of these things. So I'm going to be reading these out of my new journal that my boyfriend bought me. I know this is nothing to do with the video but I really 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 love it. It's lovely and leather and it has pages with lines on it and it's just going to be perfect for all of my filming stuff and sorting out the videos that I'm going to be doing for you guys and also my blog posts so I'm really really chuffed with that. So if I'm looking down it's because I'm reading from my book so sorry. Number one on my list is a pretty generic one and it's to be more organised. Now anyone who knows me well enough will know that I'm not the most organised person. I'm really organised when it comes to my work, my mailbox at work, like my desk and stuff like that. When it comes to me I'm so unorganised, I'm always late for everything, I never have the right stuff. I'm the person that forgets their passport when they go to the airport, I've done that before, it's not fun. That is me and I'm just going to try really hard to be a more organised person, more with it, be more planned when I'm going to do things, when I'm going on holiday, when I'm trying to organise my general self, my general self, rather than you know my work self, because at work I think most people would say I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sorted, I'm pretty organised, but Personally, I'm not. So that's one thing I'm hoping I can be. Even if it means that I'm just a bit more on time for things, that would be me. I'd be happy. I'd make myself happy by being able to Number do two is to pay off my credit card and my very account. I get myself into debt kind of on purpose because I actually want to improve my credit rating. I just really want to be able to pay all of that off, clear all of the accounts down and have them all closed on my credit report. I just think that would be a big achievement. I was supposed to do that last year and I just didn't get around to doing it. So I'm determined to do it this year. It's going to happen. I'm at least going to pay off my credit card. At least because I want that bad boy cleared. Ready for just in case I want to go on a big holiday at the end of the year, at least I know I've got Number it there. three is to write down daily what I'm grateful for for that day. I actually read an amazing blog post on depression recently. I will link all the details in the description box below if you guys want to read it. I just really, it struck a chord with me and I really like the way it was written. I can't remember who it was by off the top of my head and I can't remember the name of the actual article, but like I said, I'll find it, I'll link it, don't worry. The person that was writing it, she basically said that when she was suffering with depression, she would write down every day something she was grateful for, even if it was something really small like the weather or something that she ate that day, I don't know, anything, just to kind of keep her mind positive. Now, I'm not depressed or anything, so it's not that's not the reason I want to do it. I just think it's really important to try and think of the positives out of your day. And so I really want to try my hardest to write down um, things that I've sort of been grateful for every single day of 2015. And then I can look back and I can be like, oh my God, look at all those things that happened in 2015. I was so pleased, I was so grateful. And I think it would be really nice to look back on that. And I'll be writing that in my little new journal. He's gonna be, he's gonna be very key in 2015, I can tell. Number four is to be stronger in the face of unkindness. Now, I had a few situations this year where certain individuals weren't particularly nice to me and I don't really deal very well with that situation. I tend to take it really personally, which is kind of what that person intends, I think they want you to take it personally. And I tend to take it really to heart and it really tends to stick with me every day and I'm always worrying about it. And I just um, have decided that I think it's important to just try, to try and be strong in the face of it and not um, take someone's opinion of you as everyone's opinion of you. Just because someone doesn't like you doesn't mean that no one else likes you, it just means that one individual doesn't particularly like you very much and that's okay, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. I don't mind, <laughs> it doesn't bother me. Um, so I'm just going to try and be a little bit stronger and a little bit less sensitive about that kind of thing and just to try not to let it get to me and everyone's done that before like everyone's got angry and written crappy facebook statuses because they're upset everyone has done that i have done that i'm sure you guys have done that before but i think it's really important to rise above things and to try not to be that person because at the end of the day all that everyone's doing is watching you do it and just thinking oh my god what happens if she does that to me or what happens if he does that to me like oh my god you know, I just don't really think it's a very nice way to behave. So I'm just going to try and be much more strong and a hell of a lot more 
hey, who cares, doesn't matter, move on with my life. And I think that's a good way to be. Number five is to join the gym again. Now, I was going to the gym twice a week at the, at the very least. I was doing spin class, I was going swimming, I was going to the actual gym gym, the, the actual gym gym. Um, but with my filming and stuff, I just really, really struggled to be able to stick to that routine. But now I have my lights, my beautiful lights, and my new lens, I'm thinking I can probably manage to film evenings during the week rather than just at weekends and then that means I can then edit at the weekends and I just think I can get a routine together so I'm going to try and go to the gym twice a week, I'm going to join again and I'm going to do my spin class and I'm going to do some HIIT training which stands for high intensity training I think and just yeah try and get back into the fitness back into that old fitness. On the subject of fitness, I also want to start dance class again. I used to go every Monday, I would do street dance and then sometimes I would also do ballet straight after. I really miss doing it because it's something I really enjoyed. It wasn't even necessarily for the fitness, even though I would finish my uh, street dance class and be like super tired. So I really want to do that again and start that in 2015 if I can, because it's something I really enjoyed and I think it's important to do active stuff that you also enjoy. Number seven is stick to my monthly budget. Now again, if you know me well enough, you will know that I have a very strict monthly budget, which I never stick to. <laughs> and I really just wanna be able to say, even if it's just for two months, just to say I totally stuck to that, I budgeted for every little thing and I actually did it. It would just be something I would feel really proud of myself for doing. So to be able to stick to it in 2015, would be really good. I'm doing pretty well this month and we're now in December, almost the end of, and I've done I've done okay. So I'm hoping I can carry that on throughout January so we will see how it goes. But yes, that is a big news resolution for me to stick to my budget. Number eight is to arrange a reasonable filming routine. Now, as a YouTuber, I find it really easy to pile the pressure on and to make myself feel like I have to film constantly, all the time. I always have to be uploading. But that in itself kind of makes me not want to film because I feel so stressed. So I'm going to try and put together a really good routine that will kind of incorporate everything that I do as well, not just my filming, also going to the gym and going to work and seeing my friends, seeing my family, spending time with my boyfriend. Just, I want a reasonable routine, not one that I'm feeling like I'm just kind of going crazy about and I'm not really paying attention to anything else other than filming. So that is the plan. I'm gonna use my trusty journal <laughs> to get a good routine in place and start putting dates next to videos that I want to actually put out there. So we will see how that one goes. Number nine is a random one. Um, I really struggle to drink water on a daily basis. I just find it really hard to actually drink that water. It's just something I struggle with. But I'm gonna have a goal um, of drinking three pints of water a day. Now that may seem like not very much to you guys, but to me that's a lot. I struggle to drink a pint of water a day, which is so bad for my skin and it's really bad for my body. So I'm gonna try so hard to, to drink three a day. I'll see how I get on. I can't promise that I'm gonna be able to do it, but it's gonna be my goal. I'm gonna give it a good go. Now number 10, which is the last of my resolutions, is to get my new business idea up off the ground. Now unfortunately I can't go into any detail about what that is, um, and it's something that will be running alongside my normal 9 to 5, 30 job, Monday to Friday, so it's not really going to be interfering with that, but it's something that I really want to be able to get done in 2015. When I have more details about it, and when I am able to discuss it with you guys, I will do, but until then... But yeah, that's definitely something on my New Year's resolutions list and something I'm hoping to get all sorted in 2015. So that is me done for my New Year's resolutions. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and maybe it gave you some ideas for your resolutions for 2015. Let me know if you guys have any resolutions that I've not mentioned, which you are going to be planning on carrying out in 2015. I would love to hear about them. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next video. See you later. Bye.